Hello and welcome back to episode number four of my Japan Let's Play. So, things are moving along, um, even though I screwed up massively in the previous episode. And uh, I think we should see war this episode. I can change my uh, government again. And I'm not quite sure which way we shall go. Um, Japan is really light on bonuses for industry and things like that. So it's pretty clear that um, compared to, for example, Germany or especially the US and uh, Russia, the UK, Japan simply doesn't get as much um, industry, really little industry. And that is a big problem. Um, how are we going to go? I'm not sure, you know. I quite like um, getting more political points because it means that um, we can make these changes a bit quicker, but I don't really see anything that I want. So I'm going to go with that anyway. And we will see how things work out. If we could change things later on. One of the things you can do when you get too many political power points. Is actually very useful. Uh, you could adapt your um, bonuses. Your boosts. Uh, based on what you are researching or building at the time. So I could have gone in this case for an industrial guy. But we're already researching that. And we'll leave it be for now. Um, my marines are getting ready. They will actually be ready quite soon, probably before we even go to war. That's not really a big issue though. I'm still a bit annoyed with this attrition here. I mean, I could make that group smaller, but I already... No, I didn't take out those. Ah, decisions, decisions. So far, I'm really liking it, because uh, with that industrial um, backlog, I will show you. Um, because we've only got, I don't know how many we started with, but certainly not a lot. Um, we're only building at less than half speed here. Normally you would have 15 factories with one of the other majors. I think even Italy gets more than this. So we need to build up our construction capacity so we can do some useful stuff. And uh, this naval base, uh, where is that? Liao Tung. Oh, okay. I think I'd rather have the uh, base. Now, we're questioning them all over the place. Are we going to get a war? If you look at the numbers here, we are massively outnumbered. Look at that, 85. Zoom out. Zoom out. No, it disappears. But really, that is a huge difference. But their troops aren't actually all that they seem to be. I've got my research slot. That's useful. So we can't do a lot there, but I really love this. More national unity, which took a hit because of my stupid decision not to go to war. And more recovery rate, so we're going for that. The more recovery rate, the better. The logistics company is ready. We need to add that. Construction's ready. And um, what shall we go for next? I don't really need these yet. Uh, that is very nice, but not really at the moment. I could go for some of these. But really, what's the point in getting tanks when you haven't got the building capacity? That's going up. I don't anticipate China having any tanks. They don't have a lot of... Um, what's it? Airplanes. So I'm not too worried about that. We should be able to win that war. We're already doing that. Hmm. Research time. Yes, please. And then... Oh, was that the right one? Oh, we've got two done. Um, let's get some more resources whilst they're at it. It's sort of tempting to leave this slot open. So we can make split-second decisions. It's probably a bit... No, you know what we'll do? Um, 
because my tactical bombers are pretty rubbish and even though I can't build them yet I might want to get some better ones for later on unless I go for the strategic route which is also interesting what do our focuses say army air air base not a lot really that's a bit disappointing because in reality ah right carrier models in reality Japan was very very good at building planes their planes were far ahead of most of the uh, other countries um, fighter and tactical so there's not really a bonus for going for the strategic lot um, these can do a bit of everything there's sort of support for close air ground support I haven't really got anything else unless I want to do a naval doctrine it actually isn't a bad idea either um, ba -ba -da -da -ba. I love the music in this game it's absolutely brilliant yeah let's do that because I do like my carriers are we building a carrier at the moment I think we're not I think that stopped and we switch to um, light cruisers yes I didn't realize I already had those in going to do that and then we might as well line up another carrier to come in in a bit because we're at already level 2 and then there well we'll do that so when that one light cruiser is done then we get uh, more going towards that carrier oh I'm still paused now of course it's gonna be winter what's the terrain like here rain clear it doesn't actually say it's freezing or anything like that which it does do here so that's all right we're not going to worry about that ah oh, now Romania has stopped giving us oil um, actually thinking about it I might have gone for that trade government guy if we have one of those those Chinese they're posturing all over the place we haven't even got that normally you've got a guy in here who gives you a 15% trade bonus so yeah this isolationist Japan is uh, sailing its own course really makes it very interesting very different from the other majors that I've played so far now they've got a hundred oh they're not kidding they're not kidding I don't know if I can stop them this is gonna be one big cluster F um, yeah so we'll keep going here because that's gonna have to be the difference I think China starts with two research slots I'm not sure but can we actually declare oh come on yes we must rally 29th two weeks are you excited I'm excited I'm gonna get my ass kicked completely here I can already see it the only thing I can hope is that because um, we have these navies here we can actually support our troops really well and if I can get to this river I probably will lose this mountain range but if we can get behind this river and get China to just bash into that all the time then I'll be quite pleased um, of course having said that they've probably got far more men than we do thank you let's go that's where it says it why didn't I just hover over that oh god anyway um, he's going for an extra research slot where's that hmm 
They have the standard tree. Oh wow, okay. So he's already got more factories and things. He's pushing out troops. So the decision, this is actually really relevant, the decision not to declare war, which wasn't a decision but a stupid mistake, has allowed China to push ahead and gear up and stack the border with absolute metric buttloads of troops. There is really no way that this is a good idea. 9 times 9. Wow. Eh, you only live once. So if this turns out to be the shortest Let's Play series on Japan, then at least you can learn from it. Is the uh, positive mindset. We will slow down time. We will declare war. We will conquer. Oh, that. that why? Anyway, um, and we will click this button. Well, we've got Menkukuo. Now, we've got our carrier force here. Um, I want that. That way, we can make sure that we have... Did I not just click on... Don't have coverage. You're in this bloody bay, aren't you? Ah, crikey. Right, okay. I believe I'm not building one of the, well actually probably several of these carrier planes either. So I need to be a bit careful with them. In fact I'll be very careful with them. Um, oh! <laughs> Do I want my planes to perform kamikaze strikes? No, I don't think so. I want you to intercept whatever comes close. You go and do that. You go and do that. Air superiority is very handy. And then I've got naval bombers and you are going to do port strikes because I like disabling... No, I don't. I want to use that port Xingdao later. So you're just going to be on naval strike. What else have we got? Do I launch them? Yeah, why not? Uh, we will move those to the front line. What else have we got here? Oh, that's quite a number of them. It can make life quite difficult for China in Eastern China. So we will do that as well. Have I got a fleet here? Is there a fleet docked? No. I've never actually used carriers in this way before, so I'm finding my way around. Um, please, Paradox, just make that the default so I don't lose all my planes in one go. Um, here I do want to do port strikes, do I? No, I want you to just bomb the living daylights out of... No, these are all based in Taiwan. That's interesting. So I've got naval planes based in Taiwan. Right, I didn't realize that. Did I do that in the previous episode? And these guys are sort of going to do the same, really. So Eastern China we don't have to worry about. And then I believe I had another fleet somewhere. They're all... No. I did have another fleet. Ah, and they're too far away. Can they reach... Ah, right. Now I get it. 
So they're showing the same symbol, but actually one fleet is here and the other one is up here. Bit annoying that it doesn't show that clearly. Um, and then Eastern China. I don't think we're going to struggle with air superiority in Eastern China. So that's set up. My fleet is set up. My battle fleet here is ready to bomb. I can't think of anything else to do really. Might as well unpause and see where the tragic is going to happen. One of the things I want to try and do. Xiang Xi didn't actually declare yet, did it? No. Are they not going to declare? That's possible. If Xiang Xi don't declare, then I can move those troops out of that. Ugh. Alright, okay. East China Sea, so all these fighter planes. We're going to do that instead. Have I got more fighters? Yes, I do. And whilst they're at it, we might as well get them to do that as well. Right, so let's have a look at this. They are attacking us, which is what I anticipated would happen. And they're losing. No, we're losing a lot there. Because we're out of supply. Oh no. Right, in that case, I definitely need to... Um, do that and get them out of the... Uh, Picture simply because they're using too many supplies for my main troops to fight. Did I just what? Did I, what just happened there? My mobile army has just joined another army. The Tweety Birds. I didn't sign that line for the Tweety Birds. This is such a bloody fiddly interface. I really hope that's one of the things that they're going to change because it's winding me up. Hours. We will give you um, him and then we will give you a fallback line which we gave you before to protect that. Now that should work. So hopefully that's going to fix my supplies because they will be out of this zone and in that zone. Which should help quite considerably. At least we're not losing any of these battles yet. Ooh. That's not good. So the idea about this fallback line is that it gives us a safe retreat if we need it. We'll probably lose Mankuko. Mankuko always falls. Um, well, always. Most of the time falls. I'm tempted to throw that in because we're going to have to produce our own oil at some point. Anschluss. And this is going up and up and up. Now, he's really not happy about any of this, so we might have to have a look. At reinforcing him. Oh wait. Now I'm really confused. That's the China army. That's the mobile army. Garrison. What did I combine it with? I'm going to put them with them. What troops are those? Are they Russians? Oh no! Oh no! That's bad news. 
Now I understand why it's going worse than yeah and communist China joins. Why don't I get a pop up for that paradox? So now this wing that I've just pulled back from with all these guys is undefended and there's very little I can do about it. Because these are now enemies, see? Crap. Uh, na, 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 na. There's a lot of these interface things that really need improving all over the place. Because you've got loads of armies, which is great, you know, that makes this game so wonderful. But not being able to see what is actually going on appropriately is annoying. I need to push them back in there. And of course, I've put those elsewhere. You're now going back into this place anyway. Because I need you. I'm also going to reorganize my theaters so that I have a bit better oversight. You get more priority. Oh my word, look what's happened. Look, all my Tweety Birds that were my island garrisons have decided they now belong to the mobile army. They have lost their orders, so they're going back to the mainland. Ah. Crikey on a bikey. Absolutely useless. Oh yeah, and then you get that, because why not? So, so far this Let's Play has demonstrated one thing more than any other thing. And that is that I am absolutely incompetent when it comes to clicking on the map. Or incompetent about this game. Ah, look at that! That just drives you nuts, doesn't it? Oh, the temperature. Right. Area defense. Yes, please, please, just get back already. That's all those. Where else have we got them? They just completely left Palau empty, because why not? Is this part of them? No. I think that's it. Oh, you lazy sods, get back. Right. So this is now called Mobile Army. Which should have been called Island Army. And the Mobile Army is now called Army 1. And the Russia Garrison, 2nd China Army. That's what we want. And the Marines, out of supplies. Ah, that's what we were missing carrier fighters. Um, Oh, we haven't researched that yet. Okay. I have to remember to do that. How's the war going? Not well, I would imagine. Because they could just flank around now. This is so pathetic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, help them out. They're going to attack Jiang Bei now. Not that there's anything in there as far as I'm aware, but then they can loop around. We're just going to try and hold this line, it's all we can do at the moment. I must be going through manpower here. Hmm. 
At least our recovery rate is well ahead of theirs now. That's what we needed. Oh, that allows kamikaze, so I couldn't do that earlier. Um, that's useful. Might get some more Kasuma factories. And whilst they're at it, we might as well... Yeah. Make those airplanes a bit more effective. Um, are they actually doing anything? I don't quite know how this works either. Right, okay. So if China attacked here, they could bomb them. I don't think at the moment... At least we've got air superiority, but... So they're attacking with 16 divisions that are only 147. And we're defending with 6 divisions, which are 116. So at least we have some insight in how shit their divisions are now. Not that that fills me with any confidence at all. But is it worth, at this point, to try and push into Beijing? No, 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 no. There's no point in suiciding. What we definitely need to do, though, is get more of these out. Because I don't want to end up... Um, having this naval invasion happen and not actually being able to win it. My marines consist of... Six. So they're very light. They're only equal to the Chinese. So then the question is, do we drop right behind their lines? And instead of going to Qingdao and getting too close to this fire, distract them by taking Shanghai and Nanjing. That's worth considering, because that way we can actually divert them and open a second front. Oh, and look what's happened, by the way. I talked about this earlier, I've only just noticed it. They've united their front completely. I don't get any pop-ups for that at, at all, which I find really annoying. Because now, what I could do is take Hainan and then jump over, once I've got more troops, and take Nanning and build behind this river. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So my marines... We're going to cancel the order you've been preparing for donkey years and try and get into Hainan instead. Have I got any? Um, oh. Have I got any naval presence? I've got a convoy raider, but no fleet. Fortunately, though, we are building a kick-ass fleet up here. Oh, look at these socks! Glorious. And I am very tempted to just send that top bit without the destroyers and things. In fact, that's what we'll do. So this is a really light fleet that I'm putting together here. Um, with the idea of controlling that sea zone. Got you a proper admiral. Yes, that's nice. And I want you to search and destroy there. Give me some intel on what's going on. Right. How's the war? Shit. Oh no, not shit. We're winning that. We're losing that. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, so, so far this has been a complete and utter uh, clusterfuck, really. Um, not gone well at all, but that's it for this episode. And maybe we can turn things around. That's my timer. Oh, very loud. And, um, yeah, if we can turn it around, I will be very happy. If we can't turn it around, then, uh, yeah, the world's shortest Let's Play as Japan. 
lessons learned try again i think is the uh, conclusion then all right thank you for watching dr clumber out oh and if you like it please like and subscribe because failure should be rewarded <laughs>